Hi guys, it's France. Happy journal on Monday. I hope you're having a nice cup of coffee or tea. And I'd like to explain to you how this journal on Monday video turned out to be an experiment. First, I'm stamping uh, with some foam stamps and archival ink. But what you can hear is what's going on in the background. Now, usually when I'm working in my studio, I have a couple of playlists that I like to play as background music. But today, don't ask me why, I decided to use uh, the playlist that I normally use when I'm cleaning the house. So it completely changed my rhythm. And it was quite fun. I was working so fast, I even amazed myself. Protecting the middle of my book and just taping some Tom Holtz tissue tape down. Now, to secure it in place, I'm using clear gesso. And I thought, well, as long as I'm at it, I can spread some all over my spread. Like I said, it completely changed my rhythm and the way I was moving around my paper. It was quite fun and I will do this again, not with my cleaning music, but with different kinds of music. So give it a quick, giving it a quick dry with the heat gun and then spraying some water over it so that I can play around with Dilutions ink. As usual, if you want a complete detailed list of colors and products that I'm using, you can check it out on the ingredient list on my blog. Taking the excess ink away. And once it's dry, I'm going back in with Dilutions to add some more splatters to it. I should have done this video in a normal uh, speed instead of a high speed so that you could see how fast things were going. It took me less than an hour to tape this video and I can tell you I spent quite some time dancing on my chair. <laughs> so stamping with some gesso and as I have gesso over I'm adding some water so that I can use it to add splatters again on my page. This is my black acrylic paint that is um, diluted with water and I'm using it again to add some more stamping to my page using um, caps, bottle caps. And then again the same with the card as I did with the white. Going back in with some archival ink, but this is the cobalt archival. This is a piece of cambric that I used in a previous video uh, to apply molding paste on my spread. I kept it aside and today I decided to use it. So I'm just ruffling the edges, taking everything away that I can take away without um, tearing up the modeling paste. This is quite therapeutic to do. <laughs> I had quite some fun doing this. I fold it in half, then sprayed some water on top of it. And to colorize it, I used some PBO Colorex. Now this one was empty, so I went in with a different one. And then drying it again. I left it aside to dry completely and meanwhile I took out this um, tissue paper which I don't know where I got it but it's extra extra thin. So it stays quite translucent when glued down yet it tones down whatever is underneath it. So I'm gluing it down using decoupage glue and when you use this you have to work quite 
fast so I'm working in strips so that the glue doesn't have time to dry and I'm focusing on applying the glue on the paper and not in my book because I don't want the dilutions ink to move around now I must say the temptation to apply the glue to the book instead of the paper is quite big taking the excess away and then I also took out this strip of plaster that I still had laying around on my table and a tag these are all from my leftover box so I didn't prepare anything that's why I'm not showing you how I did these I'm applying Pam Pastel on my plaster strip and as long as I have my Pam Pastel out I can use it to add a darker shade to the edge of my spread. And then doing the same with a bit of a darker color. I'm wiping the excess pen pastel away so that I don't have my fingers all colorized in pen pastel as well. And now I can put everything together in my book. But first, adding some distress ink on the tag to blend it. I'm spraying some water. And then darkening the edges up again a bit more. And this is the perfect place to add some journaling. Using my tiny attacher to attach everything where I want to have it. Then using my uh, Big Bite Crocodile, I'm placing some eyelets through the cambric and the plaster. These are some home rusted washer breads that I'm simply applying through the paper. And then folding the legs on the back. Gluing down my um, tag in place. And then adding um, a focal element and a wording. So for my focal element I took out a stamp that I've been colorizing while watching TV. It's a stamp boutique stamp and it's the little B. It has been colorized using Copics. So even if it's very, very small, it will give the eye a direction when looking at the paper. I added some stitching on my wording and after putting the glue on it, I realized I forgot to add some distress ink. So now I can put it back. Now I can put the glue back in place and stick it to my page. So now you see that the wording with the tag and the B, um, it, it forms a, a triangle that will lead the eye around on the page.
to have all the elements again from my B as it has little legs. I'm stamping it on the cambric and now I can glue down the trimmed piece. So I'm adding a couple of more details like some white accents to the wording and some glimmer glaze to the bee so that it pops a bit more. I hope you liked today's video. I'm inviting you to do the same. Try working with some different music in the background. Who knows? Magic might happen. See you back next week. Ta-da!